In this video, I will show you how to stylize a floor plan without Illustrator or Photoshop. So let's get right into it. So right here, I have Rayon the Design Open, which is a web-based software for drawing 2D floor plans, sections, elevations, and basically any kind of architectural drawings. So right here, I imported a CAD drawing, which is pretty basic, not stylized, and it doesn't have that much information that we can take into account. So uh, this is basically a coffee shop. And, and first step is that we want to trace this floor plan. And in order to do that, we can just go ahead and click the wall tool here. And then we can click once in this corner. And then we can also change the alignment here, or we can just keep it the same way as it was. We can change the thickness to something like uh, 0.3 meters, and we can go all the way over to the other side, and we can go and draw this continuously. So as you can see, this is pretty easy and a lot faster than a traditional uh, CAD tool like AutoCAD. And on top of that, you will see a lot of amazing features in just a second here. Now, uh, what I will do, I will select these walls and I will just lower the opacity here. That way I can see where the actual windows and openings are. We also have a thinner wall here, so I can just select the wall tool once again. I'm going to click at the 10 centimeter thickness and we will go and uh, trace it for something like this. Now we can go ahead and actually take care of the openings. So the first things on the openings is the actual doors. So right here, you can see the option of doing opening. So I'm going to click on opening. I'm going to select this door. I'm going to click select. And now we can basically just place the doors wherever we want. We can also choose their orientation. And then I'm just going to place them firstly, just like this. And now we can go ahead uh, select, modify them and, and change the size. So as you can see, this is the door that we imported. If you actually wanted to do the exact size, we can just increase it in height to something like this, and then also change the width to uh, just like what we have here. Now we can just select this door as well. We're going to go ahead and optimize it. As you can see it's so easy, intuitive. We can just drag it around and modify it just the way we need it for our project. Cool. So now we have the doors. Now if you go to openings, we can go and use here another active block for the window. So I can just click here once uh, we can type in window. Uh, we can go to libraries, uh, suggested openings, and we can choose, for example, this as a window. Uh, we will select it. We can just click once here. Uh, we can choose the opening side of it. And now we can uh, change it in um, the width as well. And we can also duplicate it very easily if we just hold the Alt key and also move it around while dragging it with a mouse. So this is pretty, pretty useful stuff. And I think it's just so intuitive to use. Um, I really recommend it in any architecture workflow. I really recommend it for architects to just make your life a lot easier. Cool. So now we have the raw parts of the floor plan and we've traced the whole thing here in Rayon. I think now it's time for us to go ahead and stylize it. Now, in any type of division here, we can also add zones, which will help us add properties to a certain type of zone and also hatches. In order to do that, we can just click here in the zone and we can just specify a point like this one. So this would be zone one, which would be the bathroom there. We can do the same for this side and then we can do another zone right here on this side. But the cool part about this as well is that we can add hatches textures or anything else to stylize it. So if you go to textures here, you can see that we can use something like a ceramic uh, large style, or we can go to hatches, use squares, patterns and stuff like that. So for example, we can use a square herringbone. You can go ahead and maybe tweak it a little bit downwards like uh, 1.3. I think this will look good. And then we can add a background to this fill. So we can go ahead and leave this as a, uh, I think a brown would look good here. And then also these uh, strokes, I think we can make them like a darker color, uh, something like this. So this could be the flooring. Now, if this is way too harsh, we could also go ahead and lower its opacity to something like this. And now I think it looks lighter and a little bit better. Now we can do the same for these bathrooms In the bathrooms. We are going to go ahead and use uh, the square uh, hatch. Uh, this is just because um, it, it's a bathroom and we do not need to overcomplicate it. So we can go for something like 1.5 uh, and then maybe the stroke could be a bit more on the grayer side. 
Now we're gonna go ahead and select all the walls here. We can also change the way that the walls appear. Uh, we can go and do something like a darker gray. Something like this, I think looks fine. So now I think it's time that we add uh, some assets just for extra context and, and basically uh, making this whole full floor plan look a bit fuller in the sense of um, actually knowing what it was. So this is a coffee shop. We're going to go to blocks and here you can see that there are a bunch of libraries that we can choose from. And these are blocks that we can drag and drop and automatically import onto our model. So we can basically go here and we can just type in uh, coffee tables. And we can choose something like a square table and we can just drag it and drop it just like this. We can actually just copy these around if you wanted uh, more of them. And then we can go ahead and also find some chairs, which are pretty easy just to import here. You can just go to chairs. Uh, we can choose something like this. We can just drag it, drop it, and then we can rotate it and optimize it the way that we need it. Now, even these blocks here, we can go ahead and tweak the way that they look. So for example, this chair, we can go and tweak the uh, lines. So the stroke, uh, this could be, for example, a blue stroke. So I went ahead and edit a lot more blocks here, uh, just so we don't waste a lot of time showing everything around. But as you can see, it's already looking a bit more fuller and, and it's looking a lot better. Now, uh, as you can see, I went with a blue outline here. What we could also do in the walls is that we can also add another type of hatch, which might look good. Now, let's go ahead. Now let's go ahead and add a little bit of a patio here so we can do something like this for the patio. Uh, we can just click here. Let's add a fill. Let's go to hatches. Let's choose this interlocking brick. Uh, we can also make this a lot softer, uh, something like this. And then I think this would be fine. Let's make the uh, stroke a lot softer as well. Uh, and I think this would look fine here. Now, one thing that I would like to do is I would like to add a little bit of shadow uh, for the walls. That way this pops out a bit. So let's just choose maybe, uh, yeah, just this dark, uh, this like full on black, but we can just decrease its opacity to something like this. And then we can also remove the stroke just so it looks a little bit better. And then we can do the same thing for this side. So now as far as like adding the hatches and everything else, I think we do not have a lot more work to do because we added the blocks, we added the hatches and everything else. Now, I think we can just add some annotations. So the way that we can do that is we can use the leader here. And for example, we can just add an arrow that goes something like this, and then we can edit the text. So this could be hidden cooktop, right? So this is very good to explain and, and um, very fast in order to to just uh, go through your thought process of anything that is not super clear on the floor plan. So we can also go ahead and increase the text size and then we can also uh, change its color. So we can go for, for um, red in this one and then we can also bring this to the front of the layer. We can also increase the size of the arrow. That might be too much, so let's go for 0 0.15. And uh, yeah, so super, super useful, super easy. As you can see, all of it is fully web-based. Now, if you wanted to also add dimensions, we could easily do that. We can just click this dimension. We can also do singles. We could also leave it as a chain dimension. So uh, just as an example, we can do something like this, click again, and it will all go through continuously. We can click done, and then we can also change the size of the dimensions here. We can also change how the arrows look, so we can leave it at something like this. We can make the text uh, red here as well, and uh, basically customize the full thing. Okay, so now that we've done some of the stylizing in the floor plan, what we can do here is that we can go to layers right here, and then we can go and add a new canvas, a paper canvas. We can name this um, coffee shop, and then we can go ahead and create a page out of this. So this would be our page. So this, we can leave it as an A4. Uh, note that with the scale of our paper canvas will always be set uh, a one-to-one -one scale. However, here at the model canvas, we can always change the stroke scale uh, and, and uh, the scale of the drawings. So now, we can, so now we can go here at the coffee shop canvas and then we can add it by going here at new. 
we can add a new view from the model canvas and this will be the view that we created. So now we can also change its scale. So this would be one by 200 and one by 100, I think would fit just fine here, right? So this is what we drew earlier. Now, if you make any changes here, so for example, if I want this hatch uh, to have even lower opacity, you will see that if you go back to the coffee shop canvas, you can see that it's automatically updated. Now we can also go to blocks here and then we can add a title block. So you can see that there are uh, ready to use title blocks and annotations. So for example, we can use something like this. This is an A1 title block. However, we can easily scale it down to something like this. And then this would be ready for sharing and exporting as well. So uh, to share this with someone, you can either go to pages and then export it as a PDF right here or a PNG, which is pretty basic. However, if you want to make life easier for yourself, for them and not waste a bunch of um, file size and go here at the share button and then you can uh, set it as a presentation. All pages will be published. You can copy it and share it with someone. If you want to see how this looks, we can go to open. And then in just a second, you can see that people will be able to view it on a web, kind of like a catalog, a brochure that they can browse through. So this is the kind of drawings you can create in Rayon. And if you enjoyed it, you can go ahead and click the Rayon community in the link below. And you can also grab a free template in the link in the description. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.